Crowd, it's going to say into it. I think they're apprehensive a little bit. Wait and see if Liberty Center can bust it open. Well, they would. Thomas Muller, the ball carrier, making his way down the field. Jake Elkert with the tackle. Then Zane Zider connecting with Colton Chambers. And he's brought down around the 20 yard line. Then two plays later, Zider on the carry. He's going to decide to run it in himself. Picks up some nice blocks and takes it in. Touchdown. Liberty Center up seven to nothing. Moving to the second quarter, Liberty Benton ball. Cameron Garlock looking to Zach Elkert and Riley Chapa knocking that one away. Tigers with the football. Zider handing off to Colton Cruz. Weaving through the defense, racing downfield, and finally brought down at the 18. Seth Elkert with the probably touchdown saving tackle. Trying to be a touchdown delaying tackle. Aiden Hammontree on the catch. Mason Maud, Brady Berkemeyer coming up with the stop there. But two plays later, it's Matthew Orr carrying the ball, handling the rock, and getting in for six. Another Liberty Center touchdown. They roll tonight, 41 to seven over Liberty Benton. We'll have this one for you tomorrow afternoon on WOSN. So we take a look at Region 18. Yeah. The bracket, as that is filled up, we'll have a sought there in just a second. Liberty Center and Coldwater meeting up. That should be an outstanding matchup. Elmwood and Eastwood, try not to get those confused as they match up in next week's semifinals. And then after this game, Miles Holiday had a dynamic dude. Uh, you guys ran the football extremely well. How are you guys able to get that done up front? Yeah, well that starts all with the linemen, you know. Uh, during the week, they work their butts off. Uh, the scout team gives them a great look, and then, you know, they, they're, they're dudes up there, and they'll take care of anyone. This was a really high-powered offense you guys went against with Liberty Benton. Scored at will a week ago against Archbold. You guys had your work cut out for you. You guys really rose to the challenge defensively. You played linebacker all night. What was the game plan to stop this team? Yeah, so obviously uh, our defensive philosophy is that we want to be the most physical team out here. You know, that starts with our, our defensive line. They do a great job. And then that continues to our linebackers and then our DBs. And I, if everyone uh, did their job, we felt that we had a chance tonight. And that's what happened. You left the field. You had some emotion. You could see it in your eyes. Last time you're playing a football game here as a senior. Walk us through some of those emotions leaving here as a, a win on the second round of the playoffs. Uh, yeah, I mean, it means a lot. Uh, you know, we, we asked the underclassmen to play for the seniors, you know, because, you know, it really is the last time we'll ever play on this field, and we wanted to leave it victorious. That was one of our goals going into the season, that we wouldn't lose on our home field this year, and uh, that means a lot to all of our seniors. You guys are excited about getting a win, but it doesn't seem like you're really celebrating because you have bigger goals. How deep do you think this football team can go? Uh, I believe that if we stay focused and continue on with uh, our quest and our path and we just can continue to complete the task at hand, uh, I think the sky's the limit for us.